Good morning, folks. We're going to jump back in time for two different stories today. We've got the sun, earthquakes, other planets, and cosmology coming here, and we're going right to the last 24 hours and 193 angstroms, ionized iron, showing the coronal hole, bright active regions, but in order to properly see the plasma filaments, you really need that red helium view from the opening. Left of center, we see a large filament lifting up just this morning. Eyes on that today while the next active region is coming over the limb. Perhaps the north is now sick of watching the south do all the work so far this cycle. Let's hear some snippets from the last two days news. These coronal holes to amplify solar wind pressure towards the weekend, they're also setting a higher earthquake magnitude risk for our planet. Eyes open. Coronal hole facing Earth today and that earthquake watch we mentioned yesterday officially begins. It occurred as the upload was processing. A magnitude 7 struck the low velocity zone beneath the Philippines and Papua area. Not only did the sun tell us the timing, but the blood echoes and nearby atmospheric signals had that region on red alert as many of you saw in the disaster prediction app. Up next, let's go out to Mars where we've been hearing now for years that it likely had an atmosphere. It likely had oceans, and maybe even life. New analysis of Gale Crater tells them it used to look like this, at least near Gale. This is a shot of Iceland, and they say this was likely once the exact climate of that region on Mars. For those interested in the astrobiology of moons in our solar system, we have something in common, and we've got a great examination here of the possibilities at this link below. We're moving on to the VLA showing how different configurations take on Hercules A. Scientists are only starting to grasp how a slight tilt of the head can change the view of space entirely. They continue to realize how much more there is to see out there, but they never really seem to put that together with cosmology and say, wait a minute, so do we still need all that dark matter? We recall nature has called for the last gasp of wimps. Scientists are losing faith in that dark matter paradigm, and axions really aren't doing any better just another waste of taxpayer money. Before the top story on this, let's remember our position on this matter. By the way, I am often asked why I'm so harsh on these dark matter models of cosmology and all of their offshoots, when most have moved on in their papers and even nature called the last gasp coming for wimps. Why can't I just let it die in time and peace? Because their punishment must be more severe. After billions of taxpayer dollars, the facts staring them in the face for years, ostracizing anyone who would dare question them, like the observers, when the world fully understands the depth of their failure, then dark matter has my permission to die. And to those dozens in the field angrily checking in here as happens daily, you thought darkness was your ally, but you merely adopted the dark. Light was born in it, molded by it. The heavens saw nary the light until together the plasma could stand and it's clear that it's still nothing to you but blinding. Those shadows betrayed you because they belong to the light. Let's come back for the big story today on axions. Just like Chandra nixed over half the possible energy and mass ranges for them last year, this year it's Betelgeuse, which came up empty once again. We did cover the preprint on this days ago, but now it's published and official. Before they've even said the eulogy for wimp dark matter, axions are stumbling out of the gate. Plasma cosmology is the answer, and you can watch the full infometry on it at the link below the video. It's on our channel page as well, and at suspiciousobservers.org. We greatly appreciate your support. Observer Ranch email list for the back 40 email went out last night. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.